Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR and main proprietor at your Tenkar's Tavern blog. I'm already laughing. I haven't seen this video yet. This one is from Graph Paper Architect, GPA. Hashtag Chips and Tricks Tuesday. This went up about a month ago. It's got nine views. It's a little bit over a minute long. I haven't viewed it yet. I haven't viewed it yet, but let's just do a live reaction to this. I think it's going to be spot, spot on, spotish on, Scottish on. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's take a peek. Let's take a listen. Okay, so the intro, rockin's got that, I don't know, 80s, 90s club sound going. All right. Hi, everyone. It's Tuesday, so that means tips and tricks. That means tips and tricks. This might be the only tips and tricks that we've gotten from Michael. So that might be the trick. Or, or uh, maybe, there, maybe, I want, maybe one of the other ones was one of the, I don't know. You know, he, he's not very prolific, but let, let's, we're already, already nine seconds in. It's only a minute and 17 long. I don't mean to distract you. I'm sorry. And I've got one for you. It's very basic and fundamental, but for me, it helps me stay organized and also communicate to other members of the team. Now, when you are a team of one, just saying, because um, I believe that's what this case is. Uh, is it to me, myself, and I? Is that like handshake contracts? I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. When something was done, and that is dating. I don't mean going out and having coffee. I'm talking. Oh, well, I, uh, he took my joke from me. That was going to be my joke. And about putting a date on the document that you're working in, and that is putting a date in the title putting a date inside the document. So if you are all working on the same document, just put a date on it and then add whatever it is that you're adding or whatever revision it is. Okay. So like I, 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 mean, I do my role 20 character class, my character sheet because in, in Joe Lawyer's game, I like to see the progression of XP and whether or not I'm making that next level or not. So yeah, I, I certainly do that. But on every document that I put together, I mean, when you save the document, you see when it was last saved. You know, and if I'm working on something that has the need for lots of revisions and potentially the need to go back to a prior document, I just save them as different documents. You know, uh, for example, if it's Blades and Arcana, BA1, BA2. Now, you could certainly say BA10724. Uh, the next time I update it, I save it as 108.24. Certainly. I don't know if this is the huge trick he thinks it is. I mean, again, these things are dated. And if you put it in Dropbox, if you put it in Dropbox, you can get your last, I don't know, dozen revisions. And I know there are many other tools out there that allow people to see, you know, when something was edited and the last person that edited it. But for me. Right. It's, if you're using, uh, I don't know, Google Docs or something like that, if you're using uh, applications that allow more than one user to edit a file, it usually keeps track of all this stuff. So. Again, but, all right. Now, the issue would be if you're putting this in the document itself, when you go to turn that document into a finished product, you got to remember to take out all these dates and timestamps that you're writing to the document itself. Not the title of the document, the text of the document, if that's what he's saying. I'm not quite sure what Mike is saying. For me, I'm a little old school, so I like to have it written in right there so it's very easy for me to see. Never mind, written in there, right there. 
so it's easy for him to see. So, yes, you have to make sure you edit that stuff out. When you move it on to your editor, I don't think he wants to see that shit. I also date my folders so that it's very easy for me to find out if I'm on the latest revision of something or if I haven't worked on it for a while. That way I'll know. As opposed to looking at the date. Of... All right. Never mind. And that's it for Tips Tuesday. I hope you have a wonderful week and have a great time making your designs. Until next time, friends, good journey. Well, that was cool. But the music is rocking, so let's just take a, a quick trip. <clears throat> How to maximize your time for game design from nine days ago. But it doesn't have a Tips Tricks Tuesday thumbnail. Nor does the how to find focus and motivation for game design from seven days ago. And again, that, that nine nine views is going to be ten now. So yeah, I mean, it just goes to show that those that can do and those that can't um, attempt to teach. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. By the way, there's going to be a special live stream tonight. Don't miss out. It's going to be myself, Don, and Tom. We are going to be going over some very in interesting tweets. And uh, we're going to try to play characters. I know. I know. It's been said you shouldn't do characters on lives. We're going to do characters. I'm going to... I I don't know what... I, I, I know the character I want to play, but I, I don't... I don't know if I can be that pompous. But... We'll see. All right, folks. On that note, uh, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. Hopefully. I see you tonight.